No way. All right, cool. One last joke before last we get joke. started. Um, <laughs> I started a new business making ads in my attic this year. The sales are going through the roof. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to wait. Vultures. Um, it's originally uh, a trio, so it's usually soprano, alto, and piano. Um, but I'll just be playing the part on, on soprano. It's pretty interesting enough. Um, so this piece was uh, commissioned and composed by, um, well, it was commissioned by Neil Postma, and it was uh, composed in 2013. Um, it's comprised of, it's a huge one single movement, fast, slow, fast type thing. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Let me just play a few notes though.
soda can, but I bet it didn't hurt that much. It was a soft drink. <laughs> by David Beatenbender. It's called Staying the Night. Um, this was originally written for uh, flute and clarinet, but there's also arrangements for uh, soprano and alto, as well as soprano and clarinet, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, this is also a collaborative project with poet Robert Fanning, um, and the poem by Robert Fanning, Staying the Night, should be preceded by this piece. Uh, so I'll read you the poem, uh, and uh, please listen to what it's saying. I want to touch everything she had touched yesterday. My fingers lingering on her shelves encounter. I flip through the paperback left half red on the nightstand, inhale the crumpled yellow hand towel near her bathroom sink, and breathe in the dust and dander of her apartment air. My wife sifts a pile of unpaid bills, lifts a framed photo, and reads an inscription on a birthday card. This home's a sudden museum. From the living room, I hear her daughter knock over a glass thing and giggle. I move to save the breakables from wreckage, and then remember, nothing can now be ruined. We're guests of someone gone. From a stack of papers, I pull a brief note she wrote, and marvel at her slight, precise lettering. On her fridge shelf, a tub of leftover spaghetti and an unfinished sandwich. In a drawer, the perishable sweat, a new head of lettuce, and a fresh piece of fresh fruit. I chose to eat the peach that she chose from the grocery's produce rows, not knowing it would outlive her. Later, before going to sleep in her bed, I see still life next to the kitchen sink. One white bowl upside down, one fork, one knife, and beside the faucet, her unwashed drinking glass. Lifting the glass, I hope to see her lipstick's usual pink wedge, scour for her fingerprint, some smudge. I fill it half full with water, cover the rim with my lips, and turn it in a circle slowly. This is how I kiss my sister goodbye.
So the next two pieces are pre-recorded. They are both quartets. Uh, I was originally going to have them on my recital, but um, since I had all four instruments, I decided to pre-record that, because why not? Oh, let me just pull up the first one. So the first piece is entitled Song for Margo. It's by Mark Weiser. Um, there isn't too much information about this piece other than it's in loving memory of a woman named Margo Stambler. Uh, and this piece is supposed to embody uh, her kindness and her beauty uh, into one piece and is commissioned by the Capitol Quartet. Um, so if you look on the program, it's actually rather humorous too. It's just a quartet of me, 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 me. So. <laughs> I made sure I wanted to include that in the program. <laughs> um, so uh, enjoy this quartet. Song for Margo by Mark Weiser.
Cool. That was the first quartet. Yay! Yay! Okay, so uh, so the second quartet uh, is a little bit faster. It's one movement out of a um, out of a piece called Ciudades by Guillermo Lago. Oh, yeah. um, all of the movements of the piece are capitals of countries that uh, the composer's been to, and so he wrote. Um, he wrote a, a, a movement for, for, or basically like a movement for each uh, country that he went to. Um, so it includes uh, cities like Tokyo, Cordoba, uh, Sarajevo, as well as um, the piece that you'll be hearing, Addis Ababa. Uh, it's a country in Africa, uh, Ethiopia. Um, and his description of this movement is an energetic description of the capital of Ethiopia uh, inspired by Lago's collaboration with the Ethiopian singer, uh, singer Mineshu. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, she was, yeah, she was Give me one second. hardcore parkour. I gotta find this really quick, I lost it. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, All right, you mind telling us the bands real quick? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So I got this new blender the other day, and I can't really tell if I like it or not. Um, it's kind of giving me mixed results. Good and you know, bad. I've always hated elevators, so I've been taking steps to avoid them. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't get it. Do you want me to say it? What? This is. I can't, I, I can't believe that penguins are always denied bail. They're not even flight risks. Because I can't fly. Like if you bail someone out of jail and yeah, like they're yeah. at their risk for like running away, like for a flight risk. Oh, I guess so. Okay, so uh, the next piece is by Alfred Days and Clo. Um, Days and Class. Days and Class. This piece, Prelude, uh, Cadence, and Finale. Um, this was written for uh, Marcel Mule. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy.
Swedish composer and pianist Esbjorn Svensson, who was tragically killed in a diving accident in 2008. He was only 44 years old. So Andy Scott writes, I was fortunate enough to hear Esbjorn Svensson in concert at a conference in 2006 where I was also performing with my duo partner. In the afternoon, he practiced for two hours playing class classical music, and in the evening, his trio, EST, produced an amazing show of virtuosity and creativity coupling inventive compositions with daring improvisations within very individual sound worlds. Um, I was originally going to play this last, but because um, it is a rather uh, intense piece, but uh, I figured ending on uh, two, two jazz tunes would, uh, would be a better idea, just since it's kind of more informal. Um, I, I chose this piece because every time I listen to it, um, you know, there really is something uh, very uh, grabbing when uh, something affects you very emotionally. Uh, and this piece for me goes through a lot of different stages of grief, denial, uh, acceptance, uh, anger, um, and it's very powerful. Uh, the title of this piece, Three Letter Word, uh, has two different meanings. Um, it comes from uh, Esbjorn Svensson's trio called EST, but it also comes from, uh, and I think more importantly, from the letters R.I.P., which mean rest in peace. Thank <laughs> you. 
jazz musicians were like, yeah, why, why don't we play it? And um, now it's a standard, so. <laughs> I should pull the back. I should put the backing track up while I was chilling out. All right, here we go. <laughs> Trust Adams, they make up everything. <laughs> he said, Don't trust Adams, they make up everything. 